paragraph three. You want to match your personal qualifications exactly with the job requirements now. So you want to get even more detailed and match it up. We just talked about some of the skills you have. And of course you don't just say any skill. You want to focus on the skills that match the job, but now you go directly and show. This skill can do this in your job. That's why I'm good for you. Let's look at this example here for paragraph three, and this person is gonna emphasize their English skill. My major field of study in college was international trade at the Overseas Chinese Institute of Technology. See enclosed resume. In my English studies, I consistently scored above 90. I feel confident that my English skills are well suited for this position. So these are my skills. Here's evidence of my skill and I can use this on your job. So this job must be something about using English. Let's look at this next, next example here. My last two jobs have involved secretarial work at large shoe manufacturing companies. See enclosed data sheet. Data sheet is another way to say resume. While working full time, I was also able to complete my college degree in international trade. I am well versed in the responsibilities of this job opening and feel very optimistic that I can make a full, I can make a useful, sorry, useful contribution to your company. So here we can see that you're matching. This is, this is me and this is the company and I can do that job. I can do that job. So that's what you're doing in this paragraph, emphasizing that. In paragraph four, we're very straightforward. In paragraph four, we're going to thank the reader, be very courteous, be very professional, and we're going to supply information for further contact because we want to encourage future contact. We want to say, please contact me in the future so you can give some more personal information here. So let's look at an example here. It's very straightforward. I look forward to hearing from you and setting up a time for an interview. See, that's very positive. Look forward. And then here's their more information. Look at the second example. Thank you for taking the time to look over my application. That's a nice little sentence right there. Thank you for taking the time. If the opportunity for an interview should arise, please contact me at my home number. And then they even have a time here between 12 and 4 in the afternoon. So that's really nice. It looks very professional that way. And their home number must be inside the heading of the letter because that's where they put your information, the sender, right? Okay, so I think that the application letter is a little bit hard to write. Why? Because you want to sell yourself. Be very positive, but you must keep it short. And there's some things you have to do, like you have to say thank you at the end, at the beginning, you have to say, how did you find out about us? How do you know us? So you don't have a lot of space. So you don't want to talk about many things in your family or your history. You want to focus on a couple skills and show me you really know those skills. So many applicants I've seen say, I can use a computer. I can use Word. I can use Excel. That doesn't tell me anything. I need to know exactly what it is that you can do that others are not as good as you. Inside our book we have a few examples here. Please take a chance to look at those. And in our, inside our book we also have resumes which include the whole example of the dates. Remember, the last date goes first. The first date goes last. For your assignment, let's try to write 100 words for an application letter. Now it's going to be a little bit challenging, but I want you to give it a try. Keep it simple, 100 words, okay? Not too complicated, now just give it a try and then we'll give you some feedback on that. For this assignment, let's go ahead and look at our book, Exercise E, which is on page 282. 282 and in this we have five job openings. I want you to apply for one. 
There are five here, apply for one. Just pick one that you think matches you better and apply for that. Use your real information and see what happens. 100 words, keep it simple, try your best. Good luck.